Welcome everyone to the Monday Night Raw after the Royal Rumble and we're gonna start things off with the man who was set to be in the Royal Rumble but he was attacked by a mysterious figure we did not see who the person was they were wearing all black they had a mask on we do not know who attacked him with a chair but I talked to Edge earlier tonight and he gave me basically just this look in his eye that I already feel like he knows who did it and I don't know if it's gonna be right or not but Edge believes it and you know when Edge believes in something he does not stop until he gets proven right and also a really cool moment at the Royal Rumble at number two the number two entrant Christian returned to the WWE ladies and gentlemen Edge could not be in there did not have that moment with his best friend Christian but tonight he calls out whoever attacked him at the Royal Rumble event Oh, so Edge was supposed to enter at number two, but he could not do it, so Christian took his spot. Edge apparently believes that the bloodline had something to do with him not being able to compete in the Royal Rumble last night. Speaking of Paul Heyman, here he is, ladies and gentlemen. You've got to be kidding me. The SmackDown General Manager is back on roll again.
And of course, Paul Heyman sicking the Usos on edge. The undisputed tag team champions bringing the fight to the late art superstar. But Edge, you know he's not going to stay down. He's not going to stay down without a fight. That's exactly what he's doing. Kicking the living howl out of Jimmy Uso right there in the corner. And Jimmy down, but you know Jey Uso is going to be there as well. Taking Edge down off of the top rope comes Jey Uso. Now bringing the fight to the Radio Superstar into the corner. And Edge fighting back again. Now with the right hand and another one. No, Jey fighting back again. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the kickoff Monday night. With all the Usos are beating down Edge right now as Jey Uso just with the right hands. And Edge has no way to defend himself. He is a defenseless man right now as Edge is down and out right there. I don't know what the hell they're thinking, but Jimmy Uso getting back up to his feet. What more could they do to Edge? And it looks like they're getting ready to possibly hit a double hip attack into the corner. But wait a second. Wait a second. Christian Cage with a chair. Christian Cage with a chair coming in for the rescue of his best friend, Edge. Are you kidding me? I didn't think we were going to see Christian tonight, but Christian coming to the rescue of the rated R superstar Edge as the Usos run away. The Usos right there take it out Edge, but as soon as Christian comes on with an equalizer, that chair, they run for the hills. Oh, come on, Seth. What the hell? What the hell, Seth? What are you doing? Well, Seth Rollins not pleased about what went down at the Royal Rumble last night, but right now we're going to find out who's going to join Rhea Ripley inside of the Elimination Chamber. Is it going to be Dakota Kai, or is it going to be Lacey Evans, our first match of the night? And it's going to be a great one. Is Dakota Kai going to be able to get her dreams of becoming a women's champion at the Elimination Chamber, or is Lacey Evans going to win? As you can see, Rhea Ripley will be defending the Raw Women's Championship in inside the elimination chamber and the qualifying matches start tonight and the qualifying matches for the WWE Championship Elimination Chamber will begin this Friday on SmackDown. What a great time it is. We are on the road to WrestleMania, ladies and gentlemen. As we get into our first matchup here tonight, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for some more Universe Mode content as we get ready for our first match here on Monday Night Raw. The Raw after the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Here we go, referee wins the bell. We are officially underway. And Lacey Evans going right on the attack now. Dakota Kai going right after the leg. We know the issues Dakota Kai has been having with her legs here lately. And Lacey Evans able to see that and go right after it. Smart maneuver right there by Lacey Evans. Right back at the knee again. Dakota might have to tap out. Might, she might actually have to give up after this if she takes too much pressure to the knee right now. Now Dakota sent into the corner by Lacey Evans. And Lacey Evans just kicking the living shit out of her right there in the corner. This is not a good start for the match for Dakota Kai. She was in the Royal Rumble last night, but not enough to win it. Candice LeRae was able to pull it off in NXT. What a Royal Rumble that was last night, especially the World Heavyweight Championship match. That was insane. Oh, and I don't think you want to do that, Lacey Evans. I don't think you want to slap the back of the head, but now going right after the arm of Dakota. Dakota has been able to gain no advantage since the bell. And right now, this could be over right here. Spinning neck breaker. And then the no wonderful move right there by Lacey Evans to win the match. And no. Dakota Kai going to keep her dreams alive with a kick out right there. Right at the last possible second. This is not looking good. Evans placing Dakota right there up against the rope. Dakota Kai with a back elbow. Now Dakota with the kicks, trying to fight back against Lacey Evans. And a bam, a kick right there to the midsection. Down goes Gracie. And now this is the road pick opportunity for Dakota Kai with the strikes right here. And oh my God, what a kick right there. Down goes Evans. 
But Dakota Kai's got her right here. This is her opportunity. This is her moment. Sending her into the corner. And this could be it right here with a kick right there and another kick. And now Dakota Kai looking for that big boot right into the corner. And is it going to connect? Yes, it does. Connects right there and another nasty big boot. That could do it right there. But wait a second. Dakota Kai not wasting any time. Up to the top rope as Lacey Evans rolls to the outside. And now Dakota not going to waste any time. Lacey Evans getting back up to her feet. And right there with a missile drop kick to the outside. Oh, my God. Dakota Kai risking everything to get a shot at the Raw Women's Championship inside of the Elimination Chamber. And now with both women back in the ring, Dakota off of the top rope, crossbody caught by Lacey Evans. And just like that, Lacey Evans catches it into a power bomb. Yes, down goes Dakota. Lacey Evans not going for the pin though, looking to possibly put this away. Looking for a dude buster and it connects right there. That might do it to advance to the elimination chamber and no Dakota able to stay alive. Nice move right there by Lacey Evans, but Dakota Kai, this is her dream. She wants to become women's champion, and she's going to do whatever it takes to make it to the Elimination Chamber. Looking to steal the win right here with the roll-up, and no, Lacey Evans kicks out. And Dakota Kai was trying everything to win this, and now Lacey Evans with the small package trying to steal the win as well, and Dakota able to kick out. I don't know how Dakota keeps fighting, but right now it is not looking good for her right now. Into a pump handle, possibly. Yeah, pump handle and power slam, and that could do it. That could do it if Lacey Evans would have went for the cover, but no. Going back on the attack again, this is not looking good. Lacey Evans has got her up on the top rope. Dakota Kai able to kick away, somehow able to stay away from that predicament, and now Evans into the corner. And Dakota's got her up on the top rope. What is she looking for right here? Looking for a uh, hurricane. And it connects this time, but that's definitely got to screw up the knee right there. But Dakota Kai, the adrenaline on fire right now. Looking to win this thing right back on the attack with a punt kick. The question is, which one of these women want it more? Is it Dakota Kai or is it Lacey Evans? And Dakota Kai's got her with what in the... Okay, that was interesting. Sort of like a cross... Sort of like a crossroads right there by Dakota Kai to win the match, but Lacey Evans kicks out. That was an interesting move right there by Dakota Kai, bringing some new stuff out into her arsenal. I mean, what a move that was. But Lacey Evans able to fight back again. This is not good for Dakota Kai. Looking for a suplex. No spinning neck breaker, and that could do it right there. Oh, she's not done. She wants to go up to the top rope. Lacey Evans wanting to put this thing away right here. She's got Dakota in her sights. Looking for a moonsault. And no, Dakota Kai rolls out of the way. And just like that, Dakota Kai is going to take the advantage now. She's got her up on the shoulders with the detonation kick. And oh, my God, that's going to be it. Lacey Evans took too many chances right there and allowed Dakota Kai to take the advantage with that kick. Let's take a look back near the ending moments of this match. I mean, right here with that Herculana, and that messed up the knee of Dakota Kai. It had to. I know the adrenaline was on fire, but this right here, the moonsault that missed, and Dakota Kai took the advantage with the detonation kick. And that right there was enough to put this thing away for Dakota Kai. And she's going to be joining Rhea Ripley inside of the Elimination Chamber. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. What a way to kick off action here on Monday Night Raw. And we still have Cody Rhodes in action tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait for the return of Cody Rhodes on Monday Night Raw. What a win. Congratulations to Dakota Kai.
If this gets made official, it's huge. But right now, let's hear from Cody Rhodes after the Royal Rumble match. And that is how this match here tonight was made official. Ricochet set to take on the returning Cody Rhodes who returned in the Royal Rumble on Saturday. And what a moment that was. The crowd erupted. What a Royal Rumble it was. And we know that Pete Dunne indeed won this year's Royal Rumble. I honestly wasn't expecting it. I don't think Seth Rollins was expecting Dunne to win it. And then later on in the night, screw Seth Rollins out of the World Heavyweight Championship. Seth is not happy. We saw that earlier tonight. But that that's not what this is about. This is going to be a fun exhibition match here tonight. Cody Rhodes made his debut in the universe mode this past weekend at the Royal Rumble event. He entered the Royal Rumble and tonight he is in one-on-one -on -one action and what better way to introduce yourself back to the WWE Universe than a match with the man who can defy gravity in Ricochet. This is going to be a great match and I cannot wait to see Cody Rhodes back in action here for the first time in the universe mode. But we definitely splooged on the pyro for Cody Rhodes, you can tell that. But Cody Rhodes making his entrance, the fans doing the whoa. Cody's entrance is absolutely amazing. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, the referee rings the bell. We are underway. Cody Rhodes' first match since returning at the Royal Rumble just two days ago. And a clothesline takes down Ricochet. I don't think anyone thought we would see Cody Rhodes inside the Royal Rumble. He was not in there for quite that long. But right now, Ricochet looking to take the fight to Cody right now. Now Ricochet out on the apron. Looking for a springboard clothesline. And it connects. Down goes Cody Rhodes. 
And now Ricochet's got him back up, going right back on the attack again with the strikes right there. Ricochet looking to hit something big right here, but Cody Rhodes catches him with an arm drag. And just like that, Cody Rhodes able to gain the advantage now against Ricochet here tonight on Monday Night Raw. And Cody's got him looking for a suplex. To, oh, suplex toss right there by Cody Rhodes. And Ricochet, not sure where he is right now off that move as he has to use the ropes to get back up to his feet. And now Cody Rhodes looking for a big move, but Ricochet looking for that springboard. Oh my God, springboard moonsault. Cody dodged out of the way. Not gonna let that happen. And now Cody Rhodes takes the advantage with the kick right there. Ricochet stunned for the time being. And now Cody Rhodes slamming him down on the mat. This right here is a very interesting matchup here on Monday Night Raw. Honestly, did not see this happening here tonight. But I am so excited. We are getting two great athletes in the ring right now. As Ricochet trying to fight back against the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And up to the top rope. This is not going to end well for one of these men. And I think it's not going to end well for Cody Rhodes. Ricochet looking for an avalanche. Spanish flying it connects. Are you kidding me? That could do it. Ricochet right into the cover. He's going to pin the American Nightmare. And no, Cody able to kick out. Ricochet just seconds away from ending Cody Rhodes' uh, comeback right there. His first match on Monday Night Raw in years. But Cody able to stay alive. And now Cody looking to hit the rope right here. Not sure what's going to happen. And Ricochet with a kick right there. Down goes Cody Rhodes. And now a standing shooting star. What a beautiful move right there by Ricochet as he goes up to the middle rope looking for something big. Looking for that moonsault. And yes, it connects into the cover to pick up the win against Cody. And Cody kicks out. That right there was very, very close for Ricochet. He almost put away the American Nightmare, but now Cody trying to fight back now. He's got Ricochet right where he wants him, clothesline. And another one, Cody Rhodes getting fired up, catches the leg of Ricochet. Ricochet with an instant fury. Right when Cody Rhodes thought he was going to gain the advantage, right back right there. Ricochet able to stop any momentum he had, and now Ricochet looking for something huge right here as he looks to be sitting in. Cody Rhodes to the outside, and we know Ricochet. It is the man that gravity forgot, and he's looking for something big right here. Cody out on the outside, and oh my God, takes Cody out. Ricochet is rolling here tonight. What a match we are having. Cody Rhodes, not sure exactly what way to stop Ricochet's offense as Ricochet just in complete control as he goes up to the top rope. And now Ricochet possibly looking to end it, but Cody Rhodes right there with the right hand. Ricochet not going to let that happen. Cody Rhodes gets hit with a crossbody. Ricochet off of that crossbody. Not going for the pin. Looking to continue the attack right here. The onslaught to the American Nightmare, but Cody with a forearm trying to fight back. And now Cody looking to get fired up again. He's got the leg. He catches it this time and sweeps it. No insecurity by Ricochet. And it allows Cody Rhodes to finally get the advantage. Now Cody in control, what's he looking for? The Cody Cutter! Cody Cutter by Cody Rhodes, and that might do it right there. Is that gonna be enough to pick up the win? And no, Ricochet stays alive. I honestly have no idea how Ricochet is fighting back right now or how he was able to survive that Cody Cutter. But Ricochet looking for something big right here, Cody Rhodes. Oh no, Ricochet over his back, and now Ricochet rolling through with a nice head scissors takedown, and Ricochet with a kip up and a drop kick. Oh my God. The fast pace of Ricochet right there. Are you kidding me? That was insane. And now Ricochet possibly looking for the shooting star off the top rope. If he hits this, it could ruin Cody Rhodes' debut. I mean, we turn here tonight. No, 6.30. 6.30 by Ricochet. Cody Rhodes able to dodge. And now Cody Rhodes takes the advantage with the crossroads. Crossroads right there by Cody Rhodes. And I don't think he's done. He's looking to make sure he puts Ricochet away for a short right here. Another crossroads. And that's going to do it into the cover. Ricochet tried his hardest to fight in that match. But it was Cody Rhodes' match to win. And Cody Rhodes gets the win after two code breakers. Let's take a look back near the end. The Cody Cutter, which I thought was going to be it. I thought he was done for. And then Ricochet up to the top rope looking for the 630 Centon. But not enough. Cody rolls out of the way. And it allows Cody Rhodes right here to hit this uh, crossroads right there on the Ricochet. 
but it took one more as you can see right here Cody Rhodes not done with just one he needs a second one to make sure Ricochet stays down and what a match we just had on Monday Night Raw it was so much fun it looks like we're going to be hearing from Cody Rhodes right now after an impressive victory It looks like Cody Rhodes is going after the United States Championship. What a win for Cody Rhodes, and it looks like he's got his eyes set on a prize.
Huge congratulations to Candice LeRae on becoming the winner of the Women's Quarter Rumble. But next week, we got a great show for you. Becky Lynch versus Mia Yim in our main event in an Elimination Chamber qualifying match. And also in that night, Edge and Christian will indeed reunite in tag team action. Who thought this was going to happen? And also we have Dana Brooke taking on the EST, Bianca Belair, in an Elimination Chamber qualifying match. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are set for our main event of the evening. It is the final Elimination Chamber qualifying match of the night. It is going to be... Oscar versus EO Sky. This is going to be an epic main event, and I cannot wait to get things started. Here's the Empress of Tomorrow. Which one of these women is going to join Rhea Lipri and Dakota Kai inside of that elimination chamber? Oscar and EO. Th this is going to be a great match. You're definitely not going to want to miss out on this one. Sky looking to enter the elimination chamber for the first time in her career and get another shot at the Royal Women's Championship. She was not able to successfully beat Rhea Ripley at the Royal Rumble. It was a great match, but Rhea Ripley was able to put her away. And in the elimination chamber, Rhea Ripley is going to look to dominate every single woman that steps into that chamber. And honestly, being locked inside of a cage like that with Rhea Ripley, I don't know if that is the most safest place for anyone to be it is going to be brutal and it is not going to be for the faint of heart but right now we're going to have ourselves an epic main event and ladies and gentlemen here we go our main events underway eo versus oscar here tonight in our main event of Monday Night Raw, Io just going right after Oscar with the strikes right now, but Oscar trying to fight back. Both women want this opportunity, wants a shot at becoming the Raw Women's Champion. And oh my God, nasty kick right there by Oscar. A nice elbow drop right there, Oscar. We're gonna slow down the pace right here of Io. What a match this is for a main event. I never thought we would see this on a Monday Night Raw. I mean, honestly, it has the ability to be a pay-per-view match right now. As Io able to survive now, Io with that beautiful moon salt takes down the Empress of Tomorrow. This is definitely going to be an interesting matchup. And I cannot wait to see who's going to come out on the winning end as EO connects with that DDT on the Asuka. And now just the kicks right there. Asuka, I don't think she was ready for EO Sky, but maybe I spoke too soon. Asuka able to take down Sky right there. Now Asuka looking to take the advantage now. Oh my God, spinning back fist. That might just knock EO out. Oh my God. That might have knocked her out completely as Asuka looking for something big right here. Looking to drag her into the corner. What could Asuka be thinking about doing? Oh, I know this is not a good spot for EO with the double kicks right into the midsection and a drop kick right to the back. And Asuka looking for that deadlift German onto EO and yes, gets it right there. And now right there, Io has to roll to the outside. Might have been the only way to survive this matchup. But Asuka out on the outside. Io getting back up to his, uh, to her feet. This is not good as she connects with the hip attack on the outside. Asuka's rolling in our main event here tonight on Monday Night Raw. If you're just now tuning in to this episode, this is our main event. The winner of this will join the Elimination Chamber with Rhea Ripley and Dakota Kai, who already qualified earlier tonight as EO able to dodge that. And now Asuka in the corner, and EO's got her right here. What in the world is EO thinking? A back elbow right there, and Asuka goes down. EO going up to the middle rope. Now Asuka a little far away, but Asuka back up, and oh my god, a kick right there. EO's leg just hit off the ape, off the rope right there and a nasty right hand by Asuka and that could have just put this thing away. Asuka could literally end this thing right here as EO gets sent across the ring into the rope. Ducked down by Asuka and oh bro, both women running into each other and it allows EO to get the advantage, rolling her up in a stomp. 
EO Scott getting that advantage. These two used to be in a team in Japan, and right now they are enemies. And bam, right there. Beautiful move by EO as she takes down the Empress of Tomorrow. EO up to the middle rope, possibly looking for what she was looking to hit earlier before Asuka kicked her leg out from her. And look at that beautiful hurricanrana. Down goes Asuka. Now EO looking to get the advantage now, picking Asuka back up. And now, wait a second, Asuka fighting back. Not going to let that happen with the elbow right there. And now Asuka looking for the Asuka lock. The Asuka lock is in. The Asuka lock is in. But EO right there at the rope, able to make sure Asuka has to break it. If they would have been in the middle of the ring, I believe EO would have had to tap out, but EO able to fight back now. She's got Asuka with a Snapdragon. And Asuka has to roll to the outside, and that's not a good spot to be out there with EO. The genius of the sky after all, and she's looking to go flying with a suicide dive. Down goes Asuka right there, and EO finally getting that advantage right now against the Empress of Tomorrow. And now back into the ring, EO wanting to put this thing away in the ring, not wanting to win by count out. She wants to win the right way, and that is inside the ring with the drop kick. No, Asuka able to dodge out of the way. The springboard drop kick, and Asuka somehow gets out of the way. And now Asuka bringing the fight to EO again, and she's got her looking for that Fujiwara armbar right there, ladies and gentlemen. She's got it in. EO might have to tap out in the middle of the ring, just winching back on the aisle, on the arm and the elbow. Oh my God, this is not good. This is not looking good right now. She could break that elbow. EO has been in that move for quite so long, and she's able to turn it around into a head scissors. Just how much damage did that do to EO Sky's arm? Query, it's done a lot, but wait a second. She's possibly looking to put this away. And oh my god, nasty backbreaker into the cover to pin the Empress of Tomorrow. And no, Asuka not going to give up that easily. The match continues, and EO Sky right now is in control of the Empress of Tomorrow. The one thing EO is definitely going to have to avoid is definitely that Asuka lock. If she gets locked into that in the middle of the ring, it could be over. Who knows? But right now in the corner, and Asuka is in danger. EO has got her down in the corner looking for the double knees. And yes, they connect right there. The double knees. And EO is going to look to put this away with the moonsault up to the top rope. And this could be it right here. EO looking for that moonsault. And no, Asuka rolls out of the way. Asuka able to get out of the way and not a good predicament right now the kicks right there by Asuka and oh my god nasty roundhouse kick right there you do not want to get into a striking battle with Asuka you are not going to win it drop kick right there down goes Sky and Sky rolls to the outside right now the outside might be the best spot for EO she cannot let Asuka get that Asuka lock in in the middle of the ring or it's going to be over and now just right here with the kicks, the roundhouse kicks right to the chest. And oh my God, knocking her out right there on the outside. If she can get her back in the ring, it's going to definitely end it. But wait a second, EO fighting back. EO's got Asuka up and she's going to play her with a fairy tale ending. The fairy tale ending right there by EO Sky. If she can get Asuka back in the ring, this thing could be over. What a maneuver on the outside. That is not good for Asuka. EO. Looking for that springboard drop kick right here. She missed it earlier and connects this time. Down goes Asuka. And just like that, EO finally able to gain the advantage. Finally able to turn things around. And now up to the top rope. What in the world is EO Sky thinking about doing it? Oh, wait a second. Oh, my God. Asuka grabs the leg and EO just went face f like throat first right into that top uh, rope right there. Now the hip attack by Asuka. That could have just done it off the hip attack. Asuka looking to head to the elimination chamber. And no, Sky able to kick out. Are you kidding me? That right there would have been a big move. I'm not sure what EO was looking for, but Asuka looking for something big as herself right there with that drop kick. Nice move by the Empress of Tomorrow. And we are definitely getting near the end of this match. Asuka looking to put this thing away. Looking for the Asuka lock in the middle of the ring. And if she hits this and puts it in, it's over. And this is going to be it right here. She's got it. She's got EO in the middle of the ring. She's going to have to tap. EO is stuck. Asuka's going to be going to the elimination chamber. If EO cannot get out of this, and I think EO might have to tap out or she might pass out. 
I don't know what's gonna happen. This guy here could be in in the middle of the ring. EO trying to fight it, but Asuka has had it in so tight right now, and EO trying to survive, trying to have some breath of relief right here, and that's exactly what she's able to get right there, able to get out of it. I don't know how, but EO able to turn things around, and now EO Sky looking for the fairy pair ending inside of the middle of the ring, and yes, it connects. If EO can get her over towards the ropes and hit the moonsault, EO might win this match. And that's exactly what she's trying to do. Off that fairy tale inning, Asuka is in danger. EO on the top rope with the moonsault, and that's going to do it. Asuka, nice try, but EO Sky is heading to the elimination chamber. Oh my god, what a match. What a main event we just witnessed. Let's take a look back near the end. Right there, I thought was the beginning of the end. Asuka, I don't know what that move was, but it led to the hip attack right here and I thought it was over I thought EO was done I thought it was not going to continue she put her in the Oscar lock I thought she was going to pass out either tap out but somehow she was able to survive that I don't know how EO did it but she did and then it allowed her to hit this fairy tale ending right here which set up for the final nail in the coffin which was that moonsault off the top rope and what a huge win this was for EO oh my god what a match and now she joins Rhea Ripley and Dakota Kai in the Raw Women's Championship Elimination Chamber three more spots of the variable two more matches next Congratulations to EO Sky on a big win, but hold on, I'm getting something, there's something going on in the backstage area. We gotta take you to cameras right there, right now. Let's see what's going on. And oh, wait a second, Kevin Owens taking the fight to Bronson Reed. These two do not like each other, and oh my god, we are having a brawl. We need to get security, we need to separate these two. What the hell is going on? And right now, Kevin Owens is beating the living hell out of Bronson Reed and Kevin up on that equipment box. I don't even know what he's got in plan. And oh my God. Kevin Owens clearly not happy with that loss to Bronson Reed. Honestly, it was probably the attack after the match as well. And oh my God, no. Kevin, what are you doing? What are you doing, Kevin? Oh, no, wait a second. Bronson fighting back. Are you kidding me? Can we get some freaking damn security? And oh my god, right into the equipment box. This goes Kevin Owens. Oh my god, no, no, not on the concrete floor. Not on the concrete out there. Death Valley driver. Oh my god. We need to get help. We need security. We need the damn squad. Somebody stop this. Oh my god, tsunami. Oh my god. I'm so sorry you all had to see that to end Monday Night Raw. What the hell, Bronson? What the hell?